So in this video, we're going to be learning how to send messages using JavaScript because you can see at the moment we're able to retrieve messages that we've received and messages that we've sent. But at the moment, anything we type into this box and click send will do nothing. It won't actually send a message. So let's fix that in this video. So the first thing we have to do is create an API endpoint that will receive our AJAX request whenever we click send. So our AJAX request is going to be a post request. So we're going to scroll down and here's where we're getting the post methods. And what we're going to do is just copy this like this. And we're going to change the endpoint from users to message. So when we send a post request to API slash message, we're going to send a message. So of course we want to get the post body and we want to get the fields in the post. So we'll paste this in here and we want to have a body field and we'll have a receiver field. And the first thing we'll do is we'll just print underscore r post body to see what it looks like. So back on messages.html, what we want to do is we want to get the send button and here it is here. And what we want to do is give it an ID of send message. And we're going to scroll down. And after we run document.ready, what we're going to do is we're going to add an on click event. So we're going to target send message. So when we click send message, we want to send a post request. So I went to our login page and copied the post request and we're going to use that as a template. So when we get an error, we're going to run a function. And when we get a success, we're going to log it to the console and we're going to target API slash message. And the data we're going to send is going to be the message body, which is going to come from our text box, which you can see is right here. So we're just going to give this an ID of message content, we'll say, or message body, it doesn't really matter. And then here we're just going to say message content. And then we're going to get the receiver and it's going to be equal to our global variable, which if we scroll up, you can see our global variable sender. And sender is probably a misleading name, but sender is going to be equal to the person who we're sending the message to. And the receiver is going to be sender. It's the receiver from the perspective of us sending a message, but from the perspective of us receiving a message, it's the sender. So if I save that and I click send, you can see we got a response. If I put some information in here, we send it again. We get our response. The receiver is still seven and the body is whatever I put in this. So that's working. And what we want to do is go back to the API and we could do some simple validation. We're going to check the length of the message. We're going to say if strlen of body is greater than say 100, we'll just echo some JSON. We'll say error message to long. Otherwise, we're going to insert that into the database. So we're going to say DB query. And you can see a message has a body, a sender, a receiver, a flag that tells us if it was read or not. So we have the ID, then we have the body, then the sender, then the receiver. And then we'll have zero for the last one because by default, all messages will be unread. So our sender is going to be the ID of whoever's logged in. So we're going to leave that as a string for the moment. And our receiver is what we're going to get from the post body. So the receiver is just going to be equal to the receiver variable. And the sender is going to be equal to user ID. And user ID, we're going to get just like we always do. We get the login token and then we use the login token to retrieve the user ID. So after all that, we're just going to echo success message sent. And just make sure we spelt this properly. And we also don't want to forget the body, which is just going to be the body we got from up here. So now if I just type in something, I try to send a message. You can see it says success message sent in the database. Now you can see we have a new message. The receiver is seven and the sender is one. And now if I refresh, now we have a new message that was sent by me. So now we're able to send messages and we're able to receive them. So before we go, we're just going to cheat. We're going to go to our messages page and an on success, instead of logging an error, we're just going to say window.location equals an empty string, which will refresh our page. So now if I refresh and I try to send a message, I'll say message two, click send. You can see the page refreshed and the message showed up. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. In the next video, we're going to be making this left side menu work so that we can choose who to send messages to. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.